isn't the official campaign period yet, but some presidential aspirants are already making their presence felt. But beyond popularity and ratings, what really makes a good president? Joining us on Pundits is LaSalle Management Professor and Track and Field Federation President Philip Huico, who wrote on Business World about what he's looking for in the next head of state. Secretary Huico, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Continue. Now, Thank if, you. if I can summarize basically the, <clears throat> the number of criteria you put, you had their uh, courage. The second one is having a heart and the will and the servant leadership to make a difference. The third one is integrity. You talked about humility. And you also talked to ha having an ability to communicate and have a vision. Well, actually, the third one was to the ability to put together a, a team, no? team yes. to be a problem solver, to be action oriented. Now, uh, in light of the 2016 elections and the current crop of candidates, which, what do you feel, if you had to choose, with them, are the most important of these criteria? Well, the first one, as I said in that article, was it has to be courage in the light of uh, the martyrdom of Senator Benigno yeah, Aquino yes. as a leader, who, in a way, embraced fear, no? Because he was facing uncertainty. And that is the mark of a leader for me. Uh, you know, you embrace the unknown and you move forward after you're through with your scenario building on what is the safest option to take, you just do it. And uh, it is not the absence of fear, but the ability to, to face fear. Yes, absolutely. Yes. And you, you're talking about both physical and moral courage yes, in terms of making yes. the right decisions. Yes, uh, as I said in the article, um, former Ambassador Henry Booth Luce, also of the Time magazine, yes. said, it's, it's where other virtues mount, courage. Uh, See, sometimes you get so many people talking, talking uh, yes. about this, doing that. Talk is cheap. Eh? It's a walk in the talk, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, talk is cheap that I do this, I'll do that. I will make you do this. I'll, I'll send so many people to jail and all of that. So um, let's see. Uh, well, you know, Secretary Wico, one of the things uh, you also mentioned, uh, you, you looked at the John Adams example. You're looking at presidential politics. Now, a scholar talked about the presidential politics and power as the power to persuade. You also talked about the ability to put together a team. Yes. Given the fact that you were in a, uh, the former cabinet, how do you feel um, the next cabinet should be important to the next president? I mean, how critical will that be? It is always critical. <clears throat> Putting together your team, it is critical. And in any, in any level, uh, whether you're CEO of a medium-sized, small company or a big company, you put together a team, <clears throat> you'll have people who will come from different uh, uh, situations. They will have different ideological uh, ideology. They will have different interests. And it's your duty to get the best from them. And get the unity out of that diversity. Yes, right? get that unity and get them to, to, to work towards a common goal. My last question is, you know, you've been in the private sector, public sector, now in the academe. How critical is it for you for having to have a leader to have cross-sectoral experience, cross experience coming into the head of state? It's very important because um, when you are a president of a country, all of the problems you deal with are multifunctional, multidisciplinary, interagency, okay? For example, when you talk about agriculture, food security. The problems of agriculture are not just confined to the Department of Agriculture. They cover the public, the public works and highways, infrastructure, communications, telecommunications, because of the, the value chain of agriculture. Yes. Okay. Secretary Wico, we look forward to hearing more of your ideas and leadership on the next Pandas. Thank you so much for your time. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much.